as I understand, Dr. Mingle, there are also proposed changes to the definition of a submission. Can you explain this? Yes. Um, they're not explicit as to why they're doing this, but it would appear that they're doing it to protect individuals and groups who've been granted a hardship exception. Now, if you're familiar with the terms of hardship exceptions, you can ask for one, they, they decide whether it's warranted, they grant it, but if you make a submission anyway, it just erases the, the hardship exception. Now, it appears that uh, there's some, there's some um, clerical reasons why some submissions are made, empty submissions are made. They identify a tax ID number and or for a group or a tax ID uh, NPI for an individual, and that measure is empty. It can happen in uh, improvement activities. It can happen in promoting interoperability. It can happen in quality. So they've had these empty submissions that they've received that have erased the hardship exceptions for people. Now they're proposing to put a little bit more definition as to what constitutes an exception, and those empty submissions won't count anymore. Uh, so quality must have at least one measure delineated with a numerator and a denominator. If it's an improvement activity, it must have at least one measure that has a yes attestation to be a real submission. And if it's promoting interoperability, all of the required measures with values have to be uh, have to be included. So this should be uh, this is an important change. I think it'll help those people with a hardship exception. I, again, I don't see any reason why you would object to it. Uh, or that Medicare won't uh, finalize that proposal.